Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Power of Ten. Um, I saw this pop up on my Twitter and uh, the dev hooked me up with the key. I really appreciate you, bud. Thank you so much. Um, as I understand it, it is a space roguelite, kind of an arcadey um, space game. That's about it's about it, really. It's, sometimes it's it's not any more complicated than that. Uh, as I, I understand it, this is going for a lot of replayability and weapon combinations and a little bit of space sim but very light on the space sim um all right, come out here they're finally growing oh thank god after all these years the ration bars literally taste like chalk judah said they had to colonize three planets before they found one that could sustain them how did we get this lucky tell them you'll be on the next mission i like this uh some sometimes just like the right kind of graphics portraying something um really interesting is it just hits it hits right good you know it hits hits the good i like i like this little graphic of the uh above above the um kind of station it's not really a station i guess uh you'll be on the next mission i'm not due for at least four weeks or even we're zooming out even further i i really do like this kind of like a simplified uh graphical look in the color palettes like it's it's, it's hitting good as I say, I know, but this was the deal. We only got here because they gave us the credits and now they need my expertise. Arlon was born today, happy and healthy. I can't wait for you to meet him. I'll send pictures soon. We're blasting off from, from maybe not Mars, but something like Mars. It's incredible, babe. Just come back safe, okay? Found out uh, how far this mission is going. The furthest any exploration has gone yet, we'll be seeing things None of our species has seen. We drifted past some ancient ruins today. Something tried to build them out here in space. It didn't go so well. For them, it seems we won't stop to study them because the political power is con consolidated by the most militant minds here. Gotta push on. There's something blocking radio waves in front of us. We'll have a visual soon. Um, it's absolutely massive absolute unit damn this comms delay I, I wish i could show you this the fleet council is meeting to decide their next steps going around would add years to our travel time but we don't know that uh what will happen if we go through we're going through <laughs> they decided we're going through those gd suits don't know how to take a beat and just observe just trying to score big in their theoretical gold rush Oh my god. I don't know what will happen. Love you. Bye. Bye, babe. Going to explore deep space. Potentially other universes. WTF? What happened? I'm freaking out here. They won't tell me anything. They said they are still tracking the fleet and it seems to be operational. Are you alive? Comms are being received, but nothing is coming back. There's mixed reporting coming from the forlorn sector. Ghost ships from the fleet appearing in places they aren't supposed to be. Six months of no news. You're such an asshole. Why did you promise you'd come back? Arlon found a picture of you today. I couldn't even bring myself to tell him who it was. Sometimes I look up and see a ship in the night sky and what? Well, this is a dark way to start our game. I guess it's no darker than a child thinking their mother is going to kill them and so they jump down into their basement filled with monsters and cry them to death. But anyway, it's planting season. It's really hard to doing this on my own. Seeing that first shoot come up from the ground reminds me of you. Wow. Just dang. Oh man. I really like this this uh, style. It's like simple, but um, not really. I mean, this is, a, this is a hard style to nail. Systems analysis, offline starting engines now. Engine startup complete, try them now. Ooh, whoa very interesting control system we got here so we've got forward um it follows our cursor and then uh, we have strafing and then we can back up we've got very mobile controls here kind of reminds me of i think it was called monolith was a little um arc, kind of arcadey roguelite weapons operation we are we are shooting these things and moving on yeah give me the points what is this Door is locked due to lack of power. Uh, how would one give it? Disabled. Hold F to transfer resources. All right. 
itself shield generator online all systems reporting is operational can we shoot these things we can uh and we get stuff for doing so okay i'm down i'm down to shoot little rocks get some resources although we are wasting i notice we have ammo these are the questions you ask when you start using uh you know shooting copiously oh okay that was a that was a big point it was glowing so it gave me the, the big juice point no no come back oh no okay we're gonna transfer our resources and and uh, open the door i'm glad there's no like um collision damage Establish uplink with regional status API complete. Just collecting goods. I'm not sure. We got our first baddie. Hey, pilot. Glad you showed up when you did. Those dead eye ships put us on the United Trade Feds. No trade list for a while since you're here already. Power up the station to shield the nearby planet from attacks. One civilian saved. Wow. So then what is this? Uh, high range travel pod, travel to a new system. So I'm not, I'm a little confused. Is this a Arlon ship? Are we fly, flying Arlon? We have a little shield. I see that that lasts for a certain amount of time. And then it has a cooldown. Um, I'm still kind of I'm just kind of exploring the mechanics for now We're gonna we're gonna activate this long-distance travel thing here Wouldn't mind seeing a, a, a fun little uh, hyperspace animation I've oft, often said you can tell the quality of a uh, space sim by its hyperspace animation But you know, I, I won't I won't make that claim here a fighter here in Polaris set? Maybe, yes. Maybe you can help us. We're transmitting information about the situation. We don't have enough minerals or gas. Multiple reports show Deadeye headed to the system and we are poorly equipped to combat them. The planetary shields have been derelict for decades but could save millions of lives if turned on. Can you find a way to restore their power? Fast travel to another gate. Oh, I see this gateway connects to this other planet over here. Oh, now that's an animation. That's what you, that's what I like to see. I like to see, I like to see big sparkle, fancy, sh shiny, uh, glow. Yes, I, I talk real good. Do we take damage? No, we can, we can fly right through these. Ooh, oh God, why would I walk right through it? Why would I walk right? Why, why would I fly right into them? You picked up an ammo crate. This is the primary way to refill your ship's ammo resources. Each one restores 10% of a random ammo type. Uh, types max ammo. They will try to fill a type that you have equipped, but it will also try not to overfill. Okay, that's a, that's a pretty elegant way of uh, doing things, I must say. We took a little bit of damage because of my uh, in inept ability, ineptness. So we're, we're kind of mining asteroids for some of these resources. I'm going to need these resources to power up the shields on that planet. Ooh, want, I want that. Oh, and I want that as well. I love the atmosphere of this game. The, the, the uh, I gotta say the, the art, the, the direction design on this game, it's like, that's, it's just top notch. It feels, uh, it feels so simple, but like it, it really, a lot of love and care has been put into every single pixel in this. All right, so let's head back. We have enough resources. All right. So we haven't, we, we should be able to head off to the next world. Oh, they gave us some stuff. Truly humbled. Can be re-rolled for a chance at better gear. Reroll five, press to open. These are full of goodies to help you on your journey. Crack them open immediately or send credits re-rolling them for a chance at more and higher quality goods. Lowest is brown and then red, green, teal, and highest is white? Or is uh, teal is the highest? Okay. So brown, red, green, teal. 
Um, offensive AI drone. Deploy a drone that follows your ship for a short while. Fires a laser every time your ship fires. Okay, so we have a, a, an ability now. We can send credits to increase, but we only have five credits and these things are, sorry, we only have three credits and these things cost five. So that won't do, that won't do it, but I guess we can get some credits. So we just got some credits, but now it's going to cost nine. Okay. Well, that's fine. What is this? Acid belcher type of ammo. Oh, who, who could say it's that type of ammo and we picked it up and now, um, whoa. It's kind of like a shotgun. That's really cool. And we're going to upgrade our ship. Increase your ammo by 25, but decrease mass uh, max armor. Your ship will occasionally drop a buff that increases fire rates. Picking up multiple will stack, but missing one will drop all benefits. Interesting. After switching weapons, your next shot will also fire a homing missile. Mi missile. I kind of like that. It, uh, benef it gives us a benefit. And we also already have a, a good reason to like switch weapons. Uh, because one is going to be good for close range and one is going to be good for um, farther away. I kind of want to check out this planet. Oh, there's more than there's a, there's a few planets. We got our uh, we got to see our, our, our missile. I don't know if we get to keep these resources. So that's fine. Um, all right, let's uh, let's head off to the next area. I'm liking the vibes of this one. Oh, we have a choice. I uh, I've often said that I am very kind of um, tired of like the stock standard kind of uh, you know bottom to top chain link tree whatever you want to call it um, like fork and road style of like decision making for players. I like something different. I, I do like something like this. I think that uh, you know we, we're not even sure where we're meant to go. Um, but it does give us a little bit of information. I, I think that, you know, you, you want to be able to make a choice, obviously, but I'm just, uh, I guess I object to the very similar way that every roguelite has, has done it in the last little while. Uh, so we have civilians 840 or 80 inhabited planets. Three rewards are abundant. High population. Civilians 146. Um, really not sure what to what I'm to make of some of these, some of this information. Uh, but 137, I kind of want to check out this like 146. I feel like that's where I came from. I don't know. Let's check out this one. There's a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of population there. That's the part I care about. So we do get to keep our resources. So we should be able to um, turn this on right now. A fighter here in 6395 Terra. 40 civilians saved. Never mind what they were about to say. Got some more credits. Chunk Model 3. This, this is a, a new weapon type. Speed Moderate. Um, let's, uh, let's swap our original weapon. So what is this? How does this one work? Oh, this also, this uses the same web, uh, ammo type. Uh, maybe not a good idea, actually. We wouldn't want to have, oh, we have uh, enemies. We wouldn't want to have two of the same weapon type. Good to, di good to di diversify. Grab, grab some credits to the silly thing, though their efficiency is surely nothing to laugh at. Ninja stars. This doesn't use the same weapon type. Wait, this is a... Oh, I see. This is instead of um, having a defensive AI drone. I accidentally used it. I probably shouldn't be messing with this stuff because there's something bad coming up to us. The G's Knight might make you hurl, but these are cutting-edge overclock patches. So this is yet another ability that uh, would give us, I think, speed. Um, I want to keep our AI drones. Let's, let's, uh, I'll at least get rid of the ninja stars. Looks like you don't really get much for, oh, I see lost. Oh, we, we, we need to be hustling. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's get to that gateway. Um, I'm, I'm not fully understanding. The game is, is doing a good job of kind of not telling me what to do. And I actually appreciate that. It's, it's letting me come to my own conclusions about 
uh, what I'm meant to do. So we have to come here to try and save the people here who are being attacked. Okay, there's a there's a big bad there. Let's uh, deploy our AI. Uh, it's, it doesn't seem to be working. There we go. Okay, that's one big bad settled. Oh. Okay, let's uh, switch to our big chonker weapon. Seems to do some uh, continuous damage. Nice. I'm pretty sure that's that taken care of. And we're going to go ahead and um, put this up so we won't have to... Oh, we don't have enough? Apparently, I don't have enough. Can we destroy this further? Yeah, for more for more goodies. We need we need more stuff, so we can kind of salvage these uh, parts. I like the physics in this game. It's quite nice. Uh, what is this? Everything's got to go. You won't get prices more than lower than this. You receive bouncer one. Not really sure what that is gonna do for us. I wanna I wanna activate this. There we go. Twenty-six civilian saved. I could have done better, I think. Could have done much better. I wanna grab that little little nugget there. And I think my rewards reflect that. Can be re 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 uh, re rolled. So what do we have here? Mini reality rift. Tears a decent sized vortex in space that pulls everything to its center. This is an, instead of uh, our offensive AI drone. They're both the similar quality. I, I have to assume the color of the name of it um, reflects its value. Uh oh, planets are under attack. Okay, let's get going. Planets, there's there's more than one that are uh, under attack right now. I wonder if we could like break away from this. No, we can't like stop mid mid uh, midway okay let's uh, use our rift okay it's not going well right now I have to say Okay, uh, is it is that dead? It is now. We have another thing. I, I am like very close to dead right now. Be sure to put up my shield before I drop that rift this time. Our uh, our belcher um, does some nice continuous damage. It seems. Oh God. We sh I can be strafing more. I don't know why I'm not strafing. It's an interesting... I, I'm not used to it. I'm not used to being able to strafe in a kind of a, a space game like this. I really need to repair. I'm not sure how we get um, our health back. So we'll have to figure that out. I wonder if maybe um, this guy would help us out. You receive what? Uh, I'm not sure what. But, uh, you know, we've got plenty of credits. Let's buy it. Noise. We got some... Oh, that was ammo. Okay. That makes sense. We've got something to our southeast. I did not mean to do that. You picked up a armor repair. If your ship is missing armor, these will refill it. If you are at max, you'll gain an armor charge. After you max out these charges, you'll gain another full armor. That is a very nice way of doing things. I gotta say, I appreciate that. Um, after expending 15 or more ammo, your ship will spew acid. 
Ammo costs are randomized between your highest cost weapon and your lowest. When activating your ship's ability, it will also create some ammo. Got a lot of ammo based um, upgrades. Um, sure, let's do spew ammo. This guy, I, didn't, I don't know if I can like accidentally attack merchants or something. Time bender. Ammo one speed fast. Um, sure, let's dabble in a time bender. Oh, I, didn't, I accidentally... Ah, I accidentally... This is the problem. I, I've said this before, but when you make one button do more than one thing, like when you have one button and do two different functions, then, uh, then sometimes you, I, I find myself in a situation where I'm doing things I don't mean to do, but I accidentally salvage the weapon then, uh, rather than equip it. So unfortunately, the time bender is lost to time. Okay, so we have new, we have more um, enemies. What happened? I guess uh, you can only use your ability so many times and then it's gone. So I accidentally used our space rift to, uh, you know, completion. It's it's done now. Oh my God. Okay, this is, this is gonna be rough. Okay. Oh, just barely avoided that. The, uh, the movement in this game is tricky, but you can get used to it. I think it's, I think it's done. Solid. Okay. So we're good. Upgrade our ship. Uh, lose up to 30 minerals and gas whenever you enter a new system. If you lose more than 45 resources total, this will, this way gain 30 credits. Interesting. If you lose more than 45 resources total. I see. So you, you, you have a, you're take, grabbing a chance to get free credits, sort of, but it costs you. After using your ship's ability three times, your ship's, ship creates a ring of ninja stars. When your ship takes damage, it gains a burst of speed for a short time. Or we could re-roll. Let's re-roll for 10 credits. I want to see some more. Acid will be immediately disintegrated and will not do damage to your ship, and your acid will do more damage to enemy ships. That sounds very good. We do do acid. Ammo costs are randomized. Uh, we already seen that one. Gain 15 mineral and gas whenever you enter a new system. I like this do more damage with, uh, with acid. Acid is already um, looking like a viable, um, you know, form of damage for us. You receive 15, um, I guess, gas. Yeah, we don't want to do that. I, I've got full gas right now. <laughs> In fact, there's gas lying around that I can pick up. Okay. So, I imagine there's still going to be more attacks, but we should be able to, um... Most of these planets are protected right now. Let's do this one real quick. And we should be able to turn on their upgrade, their, their, uh, shield. And then we can head to the last planet. Oh, ouch. What the heck are you? Temporarily... What was that? Decrease... You, you, you need to stop. That was like a really dumb way to lose a little bit of damage. Temporarily decrease ship ability cooldown. Why would I... Oh, I see. I see. So we could use our ability more often. We don't have an ability right now. Um, so I'm not seeing a shield, but this is also not a populated world. So let's check out this last world and see if it's populated. Stay safe out there. We are seeing some unusual signals in the system. A smart move may be to moving on to the next system. Okay, this doesn't look populated either. Might as well uh, do a little bit of mining just to fill up on our on, on our minerals. And that's it. That's all we need. What is this? Scans indicate no life forms aboard, but the ship can probably be usable with some resources. Okay. Um, we could swap ships. Interesting. Well, this thing only has two health. Um, 
interesting weapon. Two different weapon types, and they're both rainbow. And then what is this uh, ability? I... That's really cool. Um, I don't know. It's tempting. We actually do gain an armor by sw swapping to this. So, sure. Why not? We'll, we'll roll with this for now. Um, even though this has less maximum uh, like health, we do actually gain some health by using this. And the weapons are cool. But, oh, you know what? Ugh. We, I just took an upgrade. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap back. I just took an upgrade that makes our acid do more damage, and I haven't really seen the effects of that yet. Watch me, like, I'm gonna swap into my old ship, and um, and then I'm gonna find out. Uh, we're, 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 like, I'm just gonna die, basically. There's some debris over there. I, I wouldn't mind checking that out. There's a, a lot more exploration in this game than I would have thought. You know, like it's a, it's a roguelite with a little bit of um, a little bit of wander in it. You know, nice chunk of resources. I want to check out this debris field over here. There's got to be something. They wouldn't put that on the map if there wasn't something to check out. Maybe I already checked this out. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going to bother with that. All right, let's uh, let's go to the next zone. Um, there's our escape travel pod. Okay, so um, civilians 53, inhabited planets 2. Rewards are abundant. Inhabitant planets to four hazards. Okay, let's let's do a calmer world. I can't really afford to be taking any more damage. Pilot, we are desperate from 6132 Bisso, and we don't have any defenses in place. Um, well, let's see if we can't get some defenses going. We should be able to put some uh, something up right away. And let's uh, we we have tons of mineral and gas, so we should be able to put another one up very quick. Oh, we got another little little dude. Those dead eye beacons are probably helping them hone in on this system. Destroying them should keep their attacks to a minimum for a while. Breathe a bit. Is this not an inhabited planet? There's only two inhabited planets on in this system. Um, I guess this tells me that it actually it tells me on the on the map which which worlds are inhabited. So I could have I could have uh, saved a bit of time. That's fine. I think I'm gonna make it here. You did it. We can't thank you enough. We are sending a hyperspace travel pod to get you to your next system. Nice. So if you manage to complete things quickly enough, maybe you don't have to do any combat. Can be rerolled. Uh, let's do gear container. Oh, that's just uh, just credits. Okay. Gear container. More credit. What is this? 30 resources to receive. Five max resources. Random weapon. Oh, I see. We get to pick one of these three things. Random weapon, five max, uh, plus five max resources. Okay, I like that. Let's have five max resources. Carrying more is obviously very useful. Can be re-rolled. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've already read that several times now. Um, what do we got? Defensive AI drone. So quantity five. So you can use these a certain number of times and then they're done. Um, let's check the shops. I want to make sure I don't pass up on any health. Uh, I think that is health. So let's go ahead and buy that. Very expensive health, I must say. Yeah, one one heart at the cost of 20 credits. That seems like a blow, but, you know, it's fine. I want to make sure I, I talk to all the merchants if I can. 
but also we just spent a bunch of our resources so i wouldn't mind taking a moment and uh collecting some more resources what do you got oh more health at 40 credits um that's a dang shame <laughs> oh this is a different ship scans indicate on no life forms aboard but the ship can probably be usable with some resources um if we had a spare weapon hanging around let's check it out maybe it has a uh, chemical weapon oh it actually no that's my old weapon um so what is this oh it's got like a machine gun and what is this i kind of wish i could like look at my own ship's weapons how do i wonder if like maybe tab or something uh no tab is the map oh dad pressed the wrong button i mean i don't know this is really cool though um i would hate to you know pass up a cool weapon like this but i really i really just want to yeah and this thing only has one health also so worth noting and also we we already we actually repaired our old ship a little bit so never mind um so we can't yeah unfortunately we, we're gonna have to pass up on that um that free health well not free health very expensive health a, a dang shame that actually all right let's let's move on uh rewards are abundant 80 civilians three planets four planets two planets let's go to rewards are abundant take a chance all right so before we do anything let's see if we can um uh, charge this thing up doesn't look like it actually uh receive eight minerals for three credits what do we need we need more than eight minerals so that's not exactly helpful okay so we should probably just stay in this menu until this place gets attacked maybe i don't know if that's like how it works so these are our three planets that are uh, populated we could go over here and maybe just like shoot some meteors shoot, shoot shoot some asteroids until uh until we have enough resources and then like you know unless thing you know, someone gets attacked and then we'll make our way over there oh okay hello there we go oh god Backing up with this thing is actually highly effective. Um, we're... I mean, we're using up ammo with this thing, but that's fine. Um, we don't need to conserve ammo that much, really. And it's our go-to weapon. But we can use this to, like, bust open asteroids and um, farm for resources. Okay. I don't know if that uh, that little like burst does much damage to any uh oh okay here we go gotta make my way over to the ring let's go ahead and switch to our um belcher i'm also gonna activate an ai oh okay All right, that was that was pretty good. We didn't take any damage there. Don't don't speak too soon. Okay, we should be able to um, apply a shield to this this planet now. Solid. Let's go ahead and grab this. Oh, all right. We'll grab these two. Just a lot of credits. That's nice. And upgrade your ship. Uh, ammo costs are randomized between your highest cost weapon and your lowest. Your ship will occasionally drop a buff that restores ammo when picked up. After using your ship's ability three times, you gain increased fire rate. 
I like this, um, your ship will occasionally restore ammo. That's kind of nice. Uh, and what is that? Oh, that's, that's the buff. We're, we're gonna restore some ammo. Um, let's go over here and, uh, we should, we do have an, we should have enough resources to collect another or set up another shield. Yay. Uh, lose all your credits. You will find more credits, a lot more. After expending 15 or more ammo, your ship will create a drone that fires with you. Gain one armor charge whenever you enter a new system. That's kind of nice. I like this, uh, you get, like, little free AIs. Oh my god. Bunch more credits. I didn't really want to lose all of our credits. It was tempting, but... Launch bomb. Uh, deploy a... Mm. I don't know, we could, uh, let's use up this drone, maybe? I don't know how long these drones last, if they last forever or until they, like, get shot. We need to, um, actually, I don't have enough, I don't have enough resources to set up another shield. Is there anything around here I can use? What do, what do you have? Uh, oh yeah, eight minerals. Kind of pointless. Um, these AI drones just seem to... I guess they, they get left behind at a certain point. Alright, well, we're gonna go and mine some asteroids. And try and set up another shield around that world. You know, we somehow have a lot of the basic building blocks of a space sim in this game. Like, it's, it's like a space sim roguelite. Which is really impressive. We got, um... Uh, you know, we have a little bit of exploration. Obviously, we have, like, we have, I don't know, different ships we can find, which is kind of wild to me. Um, you know, obviously we have, like, weapon combos and stuff like that, but, like, that's, that's not so much a, a space sim thing. Um, it feels more like the roguelite part. Um, but, like, the fact that we're, like, we have to kind of hang out in these systems, try and, like, build up the defenses is it, it feels a little bit more substantial than just like you know you enter a floor and there's a bunch of enemies and then when you kill them then you're done and then you fight a boss this feels a little bit more i don't know personal you know like you uh it, it's it's more rooted in some kind of like reality more so than like you know other roguelites Um, okay, so we're, we've almost got a full load of resources. All right, cool. We've got all our resources. Let's go and, um, set up that last shield. And I think we, we lost 52, apparently. Um, I guess, oh, you know what? Okay, saved 200, lost 52. I wonder if at a certain point, if you lose too many, you lose the game. Like at a certain point, um... You know whether or not you die or not i just realized there's no shield around this this uh this planet gets kind of screwed doesn't it huh um it might be that like you know if you don't risk yourself to save these worlds then you will just lose because i'm seeing that 52 of 100 and i'm seeing a lose condition whoa what is this core forlorn i love the graphic on that it is that is like such a nice looking uh so, such a nice looking graphic for real yeah i i really like the look and feel of this game you definitely have a lot more mobility you've made your way all the way to the forlorn region not bad for a dinky little fighter here in re in Rigel set, we typically fend for ourselves, but it's gotten a bit harder these days to keep Dead Eye away. I guess we could use your help. You guess? All right. Well, I guess I'll help you then. I should just uh, keep my my Belcher out. What is this? Um, Thirty resources. Five max resources or two ammo boxes. I, want, I like this five max resources because eventually we'll be able to carry so many resources we can we can potentially like just solve a world right away. 
a little bit concerned about what things we're gonna face here yo that's not cool I ran into those thinking, oh, there, there's something good. And then I realized in time that they were not. Trust is a hard thing to come by in the forlorn zone. If we meet again, don't be a stranger. I may have something to help you on your journey. Okay. Oh, what is this? Temporarily increased weapon fire rate. Ooh, so these are different. They're not necessarily always the same. So this doesn't seem to do very much damage to asteroids. Um, is there no shield on this world? That's actually good. I think that means we're done. So what I need to do is uh, collect as many resources as I can before I move on. And there's plenty of places to do that. Like, it's a little bit odd, honestly. The fact that the game gives you some downtime. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, like a space bird. Uh, the fact that it gives you downtime after your combat is a little bit interesting um, because it like means you could just like grind up enough resources that you could hit those shields right away. Oh, we've got enemies though. We are running out of ammo very slowly. Okay, we've got all our resources. There is a shop here. There's two, two shops, actually. Uh, you receive two ammo. This one is... You receive two health. I could definitely still use that extra health. Definitely could really use that health. Nice. Um, all right. Well, I guess we can uh, we can take off. So yeah, uh, Lost is, has been rounded back down to zero. So I guess that was zero. Um, we were counting the number of people we were losing in that zone. Oh, is this, that, that's another bad guy. What are you, what are you doing still alive? I do like this Belcher. It's quite nice. They, I think they hurt themselves there. I think you can like kind of time these a little bit so that they they destroy themselves you've been ref afflicted by a status ailment be careful with your next moves if you're on fire move as fast as your ship will allow to quickly nullify its effects if you are drenched in acid you'll need to slow down to give your ship time to clean itself up we're on fire go as fast as possible fire dissipated okay i don't think we even took any damage so that's nice We got some more ammo, and uh, I think we can head off to the next world. I see. So we have a minimum number of people we need to save. It's all kind of coming together now. I do actually appreciate how little the game explains in a way. Um, that's the prologue or like story actually like did more to mystify me than anything. But um, if you like, for instance, if we go to a world with like 177 uh, civilians, then um, we have an opportunity to... Uh, is this the world? Are we already here? We are. You've made your way all the way to the Forlorn. Oh god, okay. The ha the danger's already here, but I'm gonna try and... I'm gonna set up a shield here real quick. Problem with that is then we get our rewards, and I'm gonna want to take our rewards. Oh, we're not we're not getting rid of our belcher. Oh, that was close. Okay, um these are asteroids, I'm just realizing now. Those are potentially um part of the hazards. Unless that is the hazard that we detected. So we're losing people here. Oh, we took some damage. Ow, oh, we took two damage. Okay, um, taking two damage is really bad. We can't really afford to, to do that too many times. Oh, no, three damage. Oh, man, dude. We died? Damn. 
A little tiny asteroid absolutely obliterated us. Okay, well, this is definitely a game I could see myself playing more of. Um, I think I will leave it there. Otherwise, this is going to easily become a, like an hour to two hour video. But I think you uh, you maybe see what to, the appeal of this game. Um, I could definitely see some like interesting combos going on. It is it's 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 interesting. You know, they've they've uh, the dev is, is tried to kind of combo a roguelite with almost a sandbox. And those two things, I feel like they really like to fight each other. But I feel like um, in this sense, in this game, the roguelite wins. And I think that it is better for that. Like, you know, it's it's going for that kind of arcadey sense. Um, and there is like a very pointed goal. Uh, but you can kind of take your time about things in between those things. So, I mean, I guess that's true in, in games like Isaac as well. Like, you can take your time after the combat is over and like really uh, try and min-max your... your uh, um, you know, your, your kind of your benefits. So, um, this is really cool. This is uh, power of 10. What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.